This is a Toro recycler, walk behind mower, has personal pace, a bag, and electric start. Now the homeowner loves it, but says after about 15 minutes when he empties the bag, he shuts it off to empty the bag, comes back, goes to start it up, and it won't start. He says he waits till it cools down, and then it'll start up again. I'm gonna go ahead, start it up, let it run for about 15 minutes while I go take care of the animals. Come back, I'll shut it down and try to restart it and see if it replicates what he says the problem is. Everybody's getting dinner here. And we'll get back up to that mower and see what it does. All right, it's been running about 15 minutes. We'll go ahead and shut it off and see if it will have a hard time starting again. I'll give it just a minute just to replicate him changing the bag. That shouldn't make any difference though. Now my thought is that the coil, the ignition coil's going bad. Some people call it a magneto. What happens is they'll start when they're cold, but as they get hot and swell, there's a bad connection in there and it'll open up and then it's hard to start. But usually it'll quit running after it's been running too. This is a little bit of a surprise to me. So I'm gonna let it cool down, see if it'll start and then we'll go from there. All right, she's cooled down. We'll see if it'll start up now. All cool. Again. 
course you want to be careful when you're pulling these out hot. You don't want to burn yourself. She's hot. And we'll go ahead and check for spark. And to check for spark, you got to touch the base of this against some metal, the block of the engine. Have somebody else pull the starter rope and see if you've got spark right in there. I'm going to have to jimmy rig it for you since I only have two hands, two feet. Well, we do have spark, so I'm going to try a different spark plug. Maybe the plug's going bad. That would be a lot easier. All right. This is a unique problem with this mower. And before I go ahead and change out the coil, I'm going to try one last thing. So let's go ahead, warm it back up, and we'll see what happens. Alright, it's been running another 15, maybe 20 minutes. And this time I'm going to try, shut it off, I'll try to start it. And if it won't start again, I'm going to try some starting fluid in the carburetor just to make sure it's not some weird fuel problem. I can't imagine it is. I still think it's the coil, but I want to eliminate that. All right, it's been running another 15, 20 minutes, and I still think it's an electrical problem. But just in case, before I take it apart, I want to make sure it's not a fuel problem. What I'm going to do is spray some starting fluid in the carburetor. If it won't start, I'll go ahead and pull it here in a minute. And if it won't start, I'll spray some starting fluid in the carburetor, see if that will cause it to kick over in case it's some freak fuel problem when it gets hot. And then we'll go from there. Try some starting fluid. Well, now that's interesting. Huh. Maybe the carburetor's just a little gummed up. Strange that it only does it when it's hot. I don't get it. Let me shut it down, see if it'll start now. going to go through the fuel system, carburetor, clean everything up, check the choke. It's got an automatic choke. Make it easy to work on. I'm going to pull this cover off.
All right, there isn't much to these. We'll remove the float bowl. I want to blow through the fuel line just in case there's a clog in there. Oh. We'll throw the carburetor back on. All right, got the carburetor all cleaned up, everything checked out. Let's fuel it back up, and give her a test. Well, that's pretty good, a first pull after draining the gas and working on the carburetor. Let's let it run for 15 minutes and see if it'll start. closer to 20. I didn't start this till later. Let's shut it off and see if it'll start. Help Lord! Come on now, baby.